Welcome to HVAC Simplified. Today, we're diving into an important topic for anyone involved in building design, maintenance, or HVAC systems, air changes per hour, or ACPH, and how it impacts your building's load and energy consumption. Air changes per hour is a measurement that tells us how many times the air inside a given space is replaced by fresh air from outside within an hour. It's a critical factor for ensuring proper ventilation, air quality, and temperature control. Why air change rate matters. The air changes per hour is essential for controlling pollutants, odors, reduce allergens and humidity levels within a building. Proper ventilation ensures a healthy environment, reducing the risk of respiratory issues and improving overall occupant well-being. Now let us break down the formula for calculating the air changes for a room or space. In this formula, the CFM stands for cubic feet per minute times 60 minutes as we are looking for the air to be changed per hour, which is the flow rate of air. The volume is the room volume or the space volume is the total space that requires ventilation. Air changes per hour is especially important in spaces with strict air quality requirements like hospitals, labs or industrial facilities. Residential and commercial buildings have different ACPH recommendations based on their function. For example, a typical office might need four, six air changes per hour, while a hospital operating room could require 15 or more. ASHRAE, American Society of Heating, Ventilation and Air Conditioning, sets ventilation standards in ASHRAE, Ventilation for Acceptable Indoor Air Quality. These standards define the minimum ventilation rates and indoor air quality levels to provide acceptable air quality for occupants in different building types. Ventilation rate procedure. ASHRAE 62.1 uses the ventilation rate procedure to calculate outdoor airflow based on the number of occupants and space size. ASHRAE's goal is to balance energy efficiency with good indoor air quality by providing recommended ventilation rates for different applications. But why is air changes per hour so critical? Well, increasing the number of air changes means more outside air needs to be conditioned, either heated or cooled, before it enters the building. This increases the HVAC system's load. When air changes per hour is too high, the HVAC system works harder to maintain temperature and humidity levels, leading to increased energy consumption. On the other hand, if air changes per hour is too low, air quality may suffer, leading to poor indoor air conditions, which is especially dangerous in sensitive environments like hospitals. Balancing air changes per hour with energy efficiency is crucial. Designers and engineers must consider factors like building size, occupancy and climate to determine the optimal air change rate that meets both health and energy goals. Understanding the relationship between air changes per hour and building load can lead to more sustainable building designs. By optimising ventilation, buildings can reduce their carbon footprint and contribute to environmental conservation. Incorporating air changes per hour considerations into building design can also enhance occupant comfort. Proper ventilation ensures consistent temperature and humidity levels, creating a more pleasant indoor environment for everyone. In conclusion, air changes per hour is more than just a number. It's a key factor that impacts air quality, energy consumption, and overall building performance. By understanding and optimizing air changes per hour, you can create healthier and more efficient buildings. Thank you for watching our video on air changes per hour and its impact on building load. We hope this information helps you understand the importance of ventilation in creating efficient, healthy, and sustainable building environments. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on building management and HVAC optimization. Thanks for watching. HVAC Simplified.